Good morning. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. I'm here at 5911 Goodland Avenue in Valley Village. And I am I'm preparing to perform a video examination of the main sewer line for DeMondre Edwards. The main sewer line is the portion of the waste drainage piping that is exterior to the structure. It lies underground and connects the building drain line system to the public sewer. The building drain line system then is the portion or portions of the waste drainage piping that is underneath or interior to the structure. Our examination today is not focused on the building drain line system, so if further evaluation is desired regarding the building drain line system, a licensed plumbing contractor should be contacted, or a specialty building drain line video examination can be set up through our office. So I wasn't able to locate an exposed or accessible main sewer line cleanout. A main sewer line cleanout is an area outside the structure that has a removable cap allowing direct access into the main sewer line, and typically is where the drain system exits the building. In this case, um, the line's exiting under the left edge of the front porch, coming out under the driveway there. So what I've found is this three-inch clean-out here in the, uh, it's been extended out to the sub-area access here on the left side of the structure. And this is uh, basically underneath, we've uh, put a, a little makeshift landing over the top of this opening for this door. Uh, underneath that is this uh, access here, so we'll go ahead and drop in uh, an angle here under the house, all the way across to just under that front powder room, and then out in front of the structure there. We'll go ahead and just get out to that point, begin our examination from there. All right, a couple more feet exiting the structure here. And you can see right here, the, uh, the cast iron pipe meets up with the clay. This is the, uh, the original vitrified clay main sewer pipe that runs under the yard out to the public sewer in the middle of the street. Some minor root intrusions happening here where the cast iron meets the clay. Now this would be the uh, standard location here for a, uh, for a main sewer line clean out. But, uh, like I said, it is under the driveway, so it's not really all that, uh, that feasible to put one here. So we've come up with a different solution, and that is going to be to uh, put what's known as a two-way clean-out just out in the yard area, just on the op opposite side of the driveway. And that would be certainly reasonable access for the system. Now these clay pipe materials, they are expected to have a long service life. This is a natural material, so it's less likely to deteriorate underground. But uh, they can be brittle in nature and do have a higher potential for damage during seismic activity or earthquakes. Now the root intrusions we're seeing here at these joints is pretty common. A shot of them here. Normally we're suggesting that root intrusions at the joint areas of these clay pipes can be maintained with regular sewer line cleaning. It's when they're left unmaintained for extended periods that they have the potential to create blockages. They can also damage the joints. Alright, it's so about 28 feet out or so. Straight out from the house we're making a 45 degree turn to the right. And then shortly we're going to turn back to the left start running out under the street. Some more root intrusions here in these areas. So far pretty common type of stuff. But uh, definitely something that would need regular maintenance, regular monitoring. All right, as we make the turn back to the left here, we've got a slight offset in that fitting. Let's see if we can get the camera over it without too much difficulty. There we go. This is where we've now increased in pipe diameter from a uh, four inch clay to a six inch clay. A little bit of settlement here through this section. Not uncommon in these older clay pipes. I don't see any obvious signs of damage or breaks. And 
here coming up on the turn to the right. It's going to drop us down into our public sewer. Again, a slight offset there. And there's our public sewer, 55 feet. All right, so at present, the, uh, the line is showing what I would consider common, uh, common conditions, but uh, basically in satisfactory condition. The uh, root intrusions of the joints are something we would recommend regular maintenance cleanings, uh, typically every 8 to 12 months, and then also regular video examinations to monitor the system. Uh, the uh, recommendation for the clean-out is going to be out in the front yard. We've we'll placed a red marker flag in that area, just, just past the driveway in the grass yard area. The pipe's about 4 feet deep, and I would suggest installing what's known as a two-way sewer line clean-out access there. And those would provide access in both directions to uh, be able to maintain and monitor the entire line. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video portion of the examination for today. Uh, please do refer to the written report for the uh, description of the final findings and recommendations, including the maintenance recommendations. Now, we do recommend that main sewer lines should be examined after any significant seismic activity, and that main sewer lines should be examined annually to monitor for changing conditions in a system. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. Thank you very much and have a pleasant day.